Greetings everyone, it's T2 again, same day. Um, the last video had some audio problems because I had both of my mics going, so I thought I would just make another one just to make sure everything's working good. And my color on my camera was all dark, so I think I fixed it. I don't know. Anyway, the topic of this video is the recent viral trend going around. Very misandrous, hateful to men question everyone's asking it like, the first question I heard was the guy, a woman was asking her husband if our daughter was trapped in the woods, would you rather she be there with a random man or bear? <laughs> and like everybody that they're asking this, usually now they're just saying like, would you rather be in the trapped in the woods with a man or a bear? Everybody is saying 100% bear. Like. I don't even know exactly where they're going mentally with this because there's so many different things. Like, do they assume that you're going to be attacked by the man or the bear? Because if it's just a random man, somebody else made a video like one in 500 men commit some kind of violent crime. So, like, you got a one in 500 percent chance of nothing happening to you versus a hungry bear maybe <laughs> like if it's a, is it a black bear or is it a brown bear if it's a black bear maybe not that big a deal but if it's a little kid a black bear probably take out a little kid probably try to eat it do they assume that men are just trying to like if it's a little kid it's like men are all pedophiles is that what you're saying or like they're all rapists like the only reason men aren't going around just raping women all the time on the sidewalks or like that's another thing about their, this whole gender debate about men like trans men going into women's bathrooms they just assume men if they're in a bathroom with a woman they're just gonna rape them like what the fuck's wrong with people why do people just assume everybody's a rapist and a lot of these people they assume that they're way better looking than they are a lot of these people on tiktok are not attractive but they think they're tens that's another thing they need to look at uh so the type of bear the type of man if they're going to be attacked or not i don't understand like if you just ask them straight up, would you rather be raped or die? Would they just say, oh, I'd rather die, of course. And a lot of people do act like it's a worse crime to rape somebody than it is to murder somebody. Because if somebody's a murderer and you go to prison, nobody's like saying, oh, I'll kill that son of a bitch if I get in jail with him. If he's in my cell, I'll kill that motherfucker because he murdered somebody. Nobody ever says that. But if you're like a child molester or a rapist, like, oh, I'm going to definitely kill that guy. But <laughs> if I get in jail, I'm going to kill him. Everybody's like, I don't know if it's a virtue signaling thing because they think women are going to see it as a white knight move or something. But, like, if you get raped, it's not as bad as dying to me. I don't know why everybody else thinks it is. Like, there's such a fine line between having sex and enjoying it and having sex and not enjoying it like if you just convince yourself that you're enjoying it i mean i hate to say it but all of a sudden you're not being raped anymore that's all you got to do is mentally decide oh i think i want this instead like everybody assumes sex is a bad thing by default like it's just bad 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 stay away from it like sex is supposed to be a good thing animals do it it's like natural to everything that lives to have sex with each other so like just because you're not having sex with your optimal choice is not as bad as dying. Dying ends the whole show. That's game over. There's nothing left for that. It's like I would. I don't think I'd rather be like if you ask somebody, would you rather be tortured or would you rather be dead? I think existing and being tortured is you're still experiencing something that's better than nothingness. Of course, a lot of people, Christian or the religious, and think oh, I'd rather just go to heaven. Which, I don't believe that exists, so I, I don't want to just not exist at all. I don't know. But, I don't know. People have been raped, if you're like, I don't know. A lot of people like get raped and they have like this trauma for the rest of their life, so maybe it's kind of like being tortured forever. I don't know, I've never been raped. But I feel like, I mean, as a man, you can't really be raped by a woman I mean, I guess you could. You could be anally raped by another man. Yeah, yeah, that happens all the time in prison. What am I talking about? Yeah, people get raped. I don't think it would fuck me up for the rest of my life, though, if somebody raped me. I mean, I'd be really pissed but for a while, but I'd get over it. It's like, damn, I had sex. I didn't want to that time. Who cares? Somebody, like, I don't know. 
if you got forced to have like uh, get pregnant and have to get her that guy's child to term, that would be yeah, that would be really bad. Somebody like made you have the baby, but we live in a world where you can get an abortion or you can just like take some pills right afterwards and you're fine. Like I don't understand what the big deal is. I mean, I know what the big deal with the rape is. Don't get me wrong. I understand raping is a big deal, but like compared to being eaten by a bear, it seems pretty nice. <laughs> it's just a nice gentle rape rather than being eaten and mauled. Like, has anybody seen The Revenant? Do y'all know what a bear can do to a man? <laughs> it's, it's horrible. Have you ever seen that documentary with uh, that gay guy? Uh, what was it called? You know, the German doc the German director did. What was the name of that? Grizzly Man. The Grizzly Man documentary. Oh my god, this sounded horrific. Him and his girlfriend got eaten by a bear. There's a, a video, like, a lot of guys will be deer hunting, and a, a black bear will just climb up the tree after him, like, holy shit, that's scary as fuck. And you're just like, yeah, bears are cute. I like taking pictures of bear. I want to pet him like he's a dog. I wouldn't mind my 12-year-old, 10-year-old daughter being in the woods with a bear. I mean, it's like, a, what are the odds the bear's going to actually attack him? He'll probably just get scared and walk away, because it's a human. These people are fucking morons, and we're trusting these people with our children? they're constantly like walking around in a state of paranoia and fear of every man they see what kind of society are we living in right now I don't even I don't even like want to be around women right now because it's just like they're so weird and freaking out about garbage and they have this ick thing that they do like making all these lists of things that ick them out and it's like just normal everyday things <laughs> like oh this guy wears a hat oh this guy uh, parallel parks wrong or he like he drives the speed limit. Oh, that's such an ick factor for me. Oh, I'm grossed out by this man. He doesn't break the law when he drives. Like, oh my god, women are out of their fucking minds right now. Anyway. Oh, what about... Would you rather have a bear or a trans man in the woods? Does that make a difference? If it was somebody that was born female, but then they transitioned to become a man? That raises a whole new bunch of questions. Because I was listening to a podcast a minute ago. Aaron McGathy. Dan Harmon's ex-wife used to be boyfriend. She was on the Harmon Town podcast. She was talking about how, like, when she's on the show, she's kind of playing a character as the host's girlfriend, but she feels more like a man, and she knows she's never going to be a man in this life. This was probably this was a few years before all this crazy gender stuff came out. But anyway, I was thinking about that, and like, how do you know if you feel like a man? If you're born a woman, you've never been a man in your whole life. You don't. How do you know what it feels like if you've never been one? You're going by stereotypes and things you've seen on TV or read in books about people that are men and like their experiences or what you think it's like. But how would you? You wouldn't know if you felt like one or not. That doesn't even make sense. I don't know what it feel like to be a woman. So how would I claim to be one? But, yeah, another thing about it is, like, she was a, a, trying to be a comedian, right? And comedians kind of are given more respect if they're men, because naturally there's more men that are funny than women, just net because that's how it works. And I can see, like, some people becoming trans men because they want the same kind of... Tra I mean, of course trans women for sports like Leah Thomas you want to like take all the advantages for running or swimming or whatever but like if you're like wanting to be a comedian and you're a woman and like people don't take you seriously so you're like oh I'll become a trans man and then people all of a sudden think you're funnier no that's not how it works it's like Austin's always saying like a lot of these people that become trans men they're like chubby and fat it's like you don't automatically just become good looking because you change your gender you're still ugly <laughs> <laughs> Even now, you got a mangled genitalia to go along with it. Like, it doesn't make things better. I didn't really mean for this to be about gender. I was only talking about how women are crazy. But, I mean, I guess it is kind of about gender because half the population is fucking insane right now. But that's pretty much it. Uh, if anybody here has an opinion on if you'd rather be stuck in the woods with a man or a bear, let me know. Oh, polar bears too. You forgot about polar bears. Polar bears are fucking psycho.